So before we jump in to creating our first Final Cut Pro video project it's important to understand first how Final Cut Pro saves all of its data and second all of the different parts of this window. The main Final Cut Pro editing window that you'll be looking at all the time. On the left you'll see here a sidebar that lists various items. The top one is your library. In this case it's the default library called Untitled. This is what you get when you first run Final Cut Pro without ever having used it before. A library is the primary file created by Final Cut Pro. It's usually stored in your Home folder in the Movies folder. In this case, in this case, if we look in our Home folder and in Movies we could see it's right here. Now if we go to File, New we could see here where we can create a new library. You could have as many libraries as you need. Each one will be saved as a different file. It's up to you whether or not every single project you create has its own library file or perhaps a group of projects that have something in common use a single library file. Because in each library file there can be projects and events and you can create new projects and new events for that library. An event is kind of like a subfolder of a library. It can contain in it various clips and other media that you could use in the videos you're creating. The videos you're creating are called projects and you can create as many of those as you want too. Now events are stored in a library file. Projects are stored inside events which are then of course inside a library file. So you can have an event with all sorts of clips and one or more projects associated with that event and then you can have several events in your library file. In this case our library file has one event. The first event created always uses the current date in this format and it right now has nothing in it. You can see with it selected here I just see Import Media. There's no project shown. There's no media shown. It's empty. So what you see here in the second part of the screen is in fact the list of contents of whatever you've selected here. So you've got your entire library. You've got one event inside a library and they're both empty. You also have Smart Collections which allow you to do things like just see all the videos, all the audio, things you favorited, just the projects or just the photos, the still photos that are stored in the library. You don't need to use Smart Collections and we won't be using them in this course. We'll just be keeping it simple with a single library that holds a single event and in that event is where we store a single project and also our clips for that project. So let's start by importing some media so we have something going on inside this event. I'm going to go into the Finder here and I'm going to select five videos and I'm going to just drag and drop them in here. And that will bring those five videos into this event here. So you can now scroll through them and see that you have this one event and it's going to organize things by date. So you can see all of these videos were taken on the same day. They all have the same date stamp on them. On the right here I see a preview area and this will preview various different things that we're doing in Final Cut including these clips here. If I move my cursor over a clip you can see the red line in there. That's showing what frame I'm on and the viewing area in the middle of the screen that's showing that frame. I can go to another clip. I could see that frame. Go to another clip and I could see whatever frame I want in there. So the preview area in this case is being used to show us what we see in each of these. To show us what's contained in each one of these clips which will help us decide whether or not we want to bring it into our project. If I click on a single clip here I could also go and use the Play button to play that clip from the current spot that I had it at. So I can go all the way back to the beginning here and then play it. So I can preview each clip. I haven't added anything to a project yet. In fact I don't even have a project created yet so there's nothing down here. But at least I could preview what media I have at this stage. On the right here you're going to see an area with properties for whatever it is that you have selected. So for instance when I select a clip here I can look at various things about this clip. There's nothing under this tab. But here I could see various things under Audio. Here I can see Info like the basic dimensions of this clip. I could see its length. If I select another clip you can see it changes. It shows me th this length here and shows me information about this particular clip. We'll be using this Properties area a lot and it will always change to reflect whatever it is we have selected. Now finally at the bottom here we've got our project area which will contain a 
timeline or a storyline as it's called of the project we're working on. But we haven't created a project yet. So let's do that. I'm going to go to File, New, Project. And I'm going to name this project First Video. And now I get to decide which event it goes in. As I said before you can have multiple events inside a library. So in this case I just have one event. I haven't created any others. So it's going to go in there. Now with this event selected I could see I have one project and five clips. And I could see that now that I'm editing that project I have a timeline here where I could start building my video. So let's add a video to our timeline or storyline here. I could do that by simply dragging and dropping the clip into the storyline like that. If I want to drag another clip I could drag that and put it afterwards. I can also drag multiple clips. So I'm going to select this third clip here. Shift click to select the fifth clip. So I have three clips selected and drag and you can see I could add all three clips there. Now all five clips are added to the storyline. So the storyline is basically each one of those clips played one after each other. Notice that as I move my cursor and the preview is showing the frame where the red line is. So I can move my cursor around to quickly go back and forth in the video. There's also a white line. I can click and drag that around. And that is where when I hit play it will play from that point. So I can click play. You can see the red line jumps to match the white line and then the red line moves forward. If I hit stop you can see the white line is there. So not only can the preview area show me what's under the red line but also can be used to play the video so I can see what's going on. So after combining these five clips into one I can move the playback head here. I can press play. I can then watch what I've created. I can pause at any time I want. And we basically have a simple Final Cut Pro project here. I can now go to File, Share, and Share as a master file which is the most basic way to export. And we'll be looking in more detail at other ways to export projects later on. But if I were to do this and click Next, save this file out with any name I want and now I have these five clips as a single video and my first Final Cut Pro project under my belt.